Hey, what's up, everybody? This is D with Kicking Bass TV. We're out here at Evergreen Lake today, taking advantage of some of this ice with our boy from Thomas Brothers Fishing. And uh, hopefully, we'll get into some trout, maybe some muskie today out here in the deep water. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're up here at Evergreen Lake, like I said. Beautiful day, 45, 50 degrees, sun's out all day. We didn't get in any musky like we were hoping, but we did catch well over 20 beautiful cut bow and rainbow trout like these guys here. One of the things that we did was rather than stay in one to two spots like we typically would, we migrated around and fished nine to 10 different areas throughout the day and kind of covered the entire lake. And what this showed us was that not only is Evergreen Lake a very healthy fishery, very well managed, very well stocked, but that the lake house staff are super knowledgeable and really helpful as well. We were greeted by a member of the lake house staff by mid afternoon, and he just came out to let us know that if we had any questions or concerns, we could always go into the lake house and give him a holler. So something that we wanted to let you guys just keep in mind, if you're maybe a little more inexperienced or have zero experience on the ice, but you've been wanting to get your family, specifically your kids out here to catch some fish, I would recommend trying Evergreen Lake for your first try. Not only is it safe and a short commute from the city, but like I said, the staff are super helpful. And if the staff can't help you, the locals definitely will. As you can see, we're not using any sonar equipment or any fish finders or anything like that. Now, with ice fishing, it's pretty consistent that you're gonna find them following the same pattern consistently around the lake we found that they were feeding at a 12 to 14 foot depth the entire day which is no more than a foot or two off the bottom and if they're not doing that all you got to do is find their depth you start at the bottom every couple of minutes if you're not getting a bite just work your way up higher and higher until they start biting once they bite you can guarantee that that's going to be the depth that they're going to be feeding at for the most part all the way across the board we hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us here at Kickin' Bass TV or my boy over at Thomas Bros Fishing. We'd love to try to help you with whatever we can. We'd love to share some of your content. As always, the best way to support us here at Kickin' Bass TV is hitting the subscribe button down below and following us on Instagram. Until next time, we'll see you guys. Subscribe! <laughs>